Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to this five minute power message entitled All American Justin Watson and his two special motivators. In 2001, our family moved to Wood Creek Drive. The first people we met were the Watsons. Well, truth be told, my wife had been scoping out our house for several weeks, driving up and down the street, which didn't go unnoticed by Mrs. Terry Watson. Now, when Terry learned we were actually buyers, she was relieved, and we soon became dear friends. Now, let me tell you about Terry and Doug's four children in no certain order. Child number two is Alex. He's the outgoing one. Just like his dad, Alex loves to make friends with everybody. He was a great baseball player and is now a rising star in medical sales. Child number four is Abby, a beautiful young lady. She excelled in dance and speaks fluent Spanish. Abby's now a freshman at Kent State University, majoring in Spanish translation. And child number three is Justin. To say he's as athletic is an understatement. He helped lead the South Fayette High School football team to its first state championship in 2013. He's now a senior wide receiver and captain of the University of Pennsylvania football team. He earned All-American honors as a sophomore and a junior. NFL scouts are watching him closely. And regarding academics, he's a semifinalist for the William V. Campbell Trophy, an award presented each year to the best scholar athlete in the nation. And finally, we have the oldest brother, Tommy. So while Justin stands six foot three, 220 pounds, Tommy, age 28, doesn't stand at all. He measures four foot even and weighs 90 pounds. Tommy was born with cerebral palsy, severe brain damage, scoliosis, and partial blindness. No one really knows to what extent Tommy understands the world around him. He does know that he's dearly loved by his family and he returns that love with frequent smiles. As far as Justin's concerned, Tommy's a very special brother and a true motivator to him. Now one pivotal moment for Justin occurred when he came home from a high school practice miserable about something. He walked into the house, saw Tommy sitting motionless in his normal spot and smiling at Justin. At that moment, Justin felt God spoke to him and said, Son, I've blessed you with so much ability. How can you complain about anything when Tommy smiles about everything? Wow, that was a game changer. There's another special motivator in Justin's life who's also small in stature. Two years ago during Justin's sophomore season, young Vito DiCaprio, then a local four-year-old boy with cancer, was introduced to the Penn football team. An organization called the Friends of Jocelyn Foundation, it pairs up kids battling cancer with local sports teams. And the deal is that the athletes are supposed to lift up the spirits of the cancer kids. Well, <laughs> you can tear that one up. What the Penn players didn't realize was how much Vito, now cancer-free, would lift their spirits up, along with his older brother, Vinny. They attend many practices. Vito is a captain on game days. He's close with many of the players, but Justin was immediately drawn to Vito. And apparently the feelings are mutual. Vito's mom, Ashley, says all of his stuffed animals are named J. Watt. Vito's dad says when his son sees any player at all wearing number five, he yells, there's Justin! Now watch this short clip from an ESPN report. You know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of football players who think they're tough, and he's tougher than any one of them. Six-year-old Vito DiCapria might be the youngest and smallest on the field, but strength isn't always measured in years and inches. You know, we talk about grit around here a lot, committing to the fight. You know, he was kind of forced to commit to, to the fight, and it was a fight for his life. So All-American Justin Watson, an overachiever on and off the field, has two unlikely people in his life that motivate him, Tommy and Vito. And Justin would also tell you that he's grateful for the inspiration he receives from another special person, his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, Jesus told a story about a king who commended certain people for their kindness to the less fortunate. Picking up in verse 37, the people responded to the king, When did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you in prison, or go and visit you? And the king replied, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for the least of these, my brothers, you did it for me. 
In closing, maybe God has drawn someone into your life, someone who the world might label as one of the least of these. Maybe we're supposed to provide that person with extra love and care and support. And what we may not realize at first is how special they will end up being to us. Thank you for watching this five-minute power message about Justin Watson and his two special motivators. And we have more than 50 other messages that can be found on our website, philhenrypowergospel.org. Hey, find and like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, at PhilHenryPG. We post four or five power tweets per day. Until next time, may God bless you and empower you.